Hello, everybody, what's another episode of Let's Play? Couture. Last time, we went and found the star map, saw the, Metal the Metale uh, Sandral uh, scandal, and uh, yeah. Uh, and now we're on our main quest to go to four different planets, find the star map on each of them, and complete the star map to the Star Forge, a weapon uh, or whatever it is. Which is apparently something of great power for the uh, for the Infinite Empire, which is an ancient civilization that no longer exists. But anyways, first of first, let's talk to Bastila. How can I help? Because she has more dialogue. I do. I've been watching you, studying you closely to see what kind of progress you've made since your training at the hands of Master Zah. I think we know the real reason you've been watching. <laughs> I think we know the real reason you've been watching now. Uh, yeah. You never give up, do you? I admit, hey. I'm interested in you. I find you intriguing, compelling even, but it's not what you think. You have a great gift. You have an awesome command of the Force, and I tremble when I think of how you might misuse it. I won't misuse my power, Ambassador. I've seen how you've resisted many temptations and continue to walk the path of the light side. Very commendable, but I'm afraid you might stray from this path. You need to see what the dark side represents in its entirety, for it is what we battle. Only the wisdom of a Jedi Master can truly explain this, but I will do my best to make you understand. What are you trying to tell me? The dark side is not simply giving in to anger, or temptation, or to use the Force to destructive ends. These things only lead to the dark side. The dark side grows stronger and more insidious the closer you draw to it. It begs you to surrender to it, to release all its terrible power, and it becomes harder and harder to resist. Like and once you stop resisting, it's too late. It twists you up inside and turns you into a mockery of everything you once stood for. It's not a temptation very well. I am no less resistant to temptation than any other. I simply have the benefit of training that you do not. But even the training of the Jedi might not be enough to save us. We need only to look at the atrocities which have been committed by those under its sway to understand the terrible, corrupting evil of the dark side. Millions dead, and far more suffering. What sort of person would you have to become to perform such deeds gladly? This? Are you saying, uh, I could never see myself ever doing such things. That is why the dark side is so insidious. If you are not careful, you do not even see each small step you take towards it until yeah. it's too late. It's so easy to think that we would never fall prey to such a horror, that we have unlimited control, vigilance, and foresight. If only that were true. The Sith have become powerful because there are many Jedi who've succumbed to the lure of the dark side and joined their cause. What greater weapon is there than to turn an enemy to your cause, to use their own knowledge against them? We are weakened while they are strengthened, so we must harden our hearts and do whatever is required to fight against the dark side, even when the battle becomes wearying. Do whatever is required, such as? I don't know. The vision of our future is clouded by shadows cast from the dark side. But I sense something ominous lurking in those shadows. But words alone cannot save one from the dark side. Come, we should continue with the task at hand. When the time comes, I only hope we are all strong enough to do what we must. And that is one line that has stuck with me. Most people don't realize this. When I hear a lot of people say online is that I want to be a Sith or I want to be a dark side user because the dark side seems more cooler. A lot of people don't realize the dark side is like a drug. Once used, it's very hard to stop. It's addicting. It lurks in the very core of your being, and it will it will, it will be there. And it, and it will still try its darn hardest not to let go. And while it does, it perverts you, distorts you, turns you into the very worst person that you can be. Literally, one that can do horrible atrocities. As like we've already seen with Alec and, well, Malak and Revan. They were heroes. Good people who like wanted to help the Republic. Genuinely. Betraying the Republic, like betraying the Jedi Order, and kind of like splitting off, like for a bit, just to help the Republic prevent them from, like, from getting killed by the Mandalorians. And then the dark side hit them, and then they're been there turned, corrupted, turned into the very dark side. It turned to the dark side, and now they are the one attacking the very Republic. They help save. Anyways, a less somber note. Yes, what's on your? We'll be leaving this planet. On the galaxy map, we are heading to the first canonical planet we'll go to. Yavin! No, we're going to Tatooine. 
Docking the Tyrane, Tetra Canyons, Native Species, Jawas, Sand People. Docking Anchorhead Settlement. Travel. Like that. We're off across the galaxy to explore different worlds. And hyperdrive activated. And with the hyperdrive activated, cutscene on the Sith fleet. Hello, Saul, Kara, and Dark Malak. Lord Malak, the Star Forge is operating at 200% capacity, far beyond our expectations. I am more interested in the young Jedi Bastila and her battle meditation. Have you learned how she escaped the destruction of Taris? She was aided by Karth Onasi, a decorated war hero of the Republic and a legendary soldier. During the Mandalore Wars, he was honored many times for his bravery. You know this man? Yes, Lord Malak. He served under me when I still followed the Republic. You could say I was his mentor. Interesting. How did you acquire this information, Admiral? An eyewitness, Lord Malak. An eyewitness? Kalo Nord is one of the people who escaped Harris along Kalo with Nord, us. Kalo Nord, a bounty hunter, was there when Bastila and Karth escaped the planet. I don't know how he lived. Apparently, they left him did. for dead. A Jedi and a war hero. It's a wonder you survived the encounter. I am hard to kill, Lord Malak. Kalo has agreed to help mm, us capture the young Bastila mm. for a very hefty fee, of course. But I assure you, he is well worth the price. His reputation as a bounty hunter is well earned. Her companions are nothing to me, Kalo. But I desire the young Jedi taken alive, if at all possible. Lord Malak, forgive me, there is something else. May we have a private audience away from the ears of the common soldiers? I trust you are not wasting my time, Admiral Karath. I promise you will be very interested in what Kalo has to tell you about Bastila's other companions, Lord Malak. Hmm, that's an interesting line. But... They're flying. Another dream. Uh, 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 some weird cave smells like death and dragon crap. Is that a pillar? Is that a statue? An alien we've never seen. And we land at Anchorhead Station. Owned by the Zerka Corp. Zerka Corp. Also known as, we are totally not evil. <laughs> We're totally the good guys. We're totally just in it for and trying to help as many people as possible. By, uh, yeah, doing everything possible to earn as many things as possible. But yeah, welcome to Tatooine. In my opinion, the only planet the that's... given us a, a vision, like the one we shared on Dantooine. Did you see it? Of course. You must have. The Force is strong with us both. Tatooine is known for little but blowing sand. I find it surprising that there would be a star map somewhere in its desolate wastes. It looks like it was inside some kind of cave. I suspect there oh. are many such caves and caverns hidden in the sands of the Dune Sea. The creatures of this world probably use them as their lairs. No doubt things will become more clear once we discover the star map's location. All right, Bastila. How can I help? How did the council send you with? How did the council send me with you on this mission? Also, you can talk to her to see the mission visit again. I couldn't accomplish this on my own. I need no, the really aid of others, too. especially one who is strong in the Force. The bond between us made you a natural choice. Besides. The events on Taurus prove that the Force wanted to bring us together for this mission. And there is little left to chance when the Force is involved. Is that not enough for you? The Force wants to stick you together? Why do you keep your <laughs> undesirable charms? Uh... Ah, uh, why not? I said we were brought together for our mission. <laughs> to stop Malak. I hardly think the Force would be pushing us toward a romantic involvement when the fate of the galaxy is at stake. Please try to stay focused. Yep, I doubt the, the Council would approve if they knew yep, we were busy discussing our mutual attraction when we should be saving the galaxy from Malak. We 
mutual attraction? I knew you were interested in me. Mutual attraction? I never said it's just <laughs> an expression. <laughs> whatever our feelings, <laughs> I mean, whatever your feelings, you have to try to ignore them. <laughs> Don't want to discomplicate things. Finding the missing pieces of the star maps is our only hope of locating the star. That wasn't the best though. Sent two bad ones. Can't now explain all this quite clearly. Anyways, it just seems odd they would send up a map, up me off without a master to guide me. I admit, there were times that I wondered if this is more than just a mission to stop Malak. There were times when I wondered if this was also a way for the Council to test my own abilities. I get the feeling that there's more going on than I know. I wondered if the Council wanted to see how I would help and guide you on our quest. I wondered if they were testing me to see if I was ready to become a Jedi Master myself. And then I realized how foolish such thoughts were. As the Council explained, sending a Master in our group would only have drawn unwanted attention from the Sith. The fate of the galaxy is at stake. The Council would not risk it merely to test me. They calculated the risks, and in the end chose the only option available. I guess that makes sense. You must learn to trust in the wisdom of the Council. Your destiny will come when it's appointed time. You mustn't be so impatient. Hmm. Me? You're the one who thought this was a big audition for Masterhood. What must you be so frustrating? I admit, I had a moment of foolish pride, but I'm over it. Now I am focused on my true responsibilities. I'm simply trying to help you and complete this mission, and yet you battle me at every turn. What can I say? It's fun. Hey, you started this. I started it. You were the one who brought up the issue of the council. You were the one who questioned our mission. You were the one who mocked me for thinking I was being tested. Careful. Wait, no. I'm only joking. Or... You, you are a very odd man. Do you know that? I simply don't know how to deal with you. All I want to do is help you, but you seem determined to drive me mad. I'm not so... I'm so... Both these options are really mean, I'm just gonna say that. This is kinda creepy. I'm not so bad, you just have to accept me for what I am. Unfortunately, it isn't as easy as that, but your point is well taken. Come on, come, let's move on. There's much to be done. And Basila, yeah, you can reveal that she's thinking this is a trial for her. Yeah. Based on the answer, Basila either has blind faith in the council or she simply avoids this question. <laughs> yes, hey, Carson. Yeah, they got this place? Tatooine's just a desert planet. I hear the mining isn't going so well. I bet the colony gets abandoned before long. Well, that's yeah. all I can think of at any rate. Never mind. You got. Alright, I need to be very cautious of my levels. Probably going to the Evan Hawk constantly. And. For sure, for the portable. Something's not right. Not right? What do you mean? We should buy a restaurant, but nobody seems to know anything about it. Everyone should really check out the food store that's near the cargo hold. Hmm. <laughs> Alright, so now we have a new quest or something, or a new inventory thing, I guess, which is a Star Map Dantooine. Oh, yeah. So we have a bit of an unmarked quest, one of the few quests that appears for the Ebon Hawk. There are three in this game, and this is one of them. How may I be of assistance to you, Padawan? I was wondering if you talk. What? Nothing more. Of course. You want to play around? <laughs> have you anything more to say about yourself? I'm on left to go. Feel like I'm not. Should I say more? I will not. All right. Thank you. All right. T3 has nothing else to say because literally can't speak, so I as well not speak to him at all. So, I always check the supplies and. Strangely, food stores have been disturbed recently. No one in the party would have done this, so there must be some other explanation. They handled these supplies more closely. There are no happy no patron packages to indicate that theft was from Pester Vermin. It looks like some unknown person was conducting cla uh, clandestine raids in your stores. Or a thief is the man who managed to avoid checks for you and your command so far, yet throw a search to the ship or be able to stow away. Hmm. And we got a quest. This one being dwindling supplies. Someone or someone has been eating the food supplies. Maybe we're gonna search the ship to find the culprit. Alright, so they might be in here. No. Oh, I think you hear the soft pattern of footsteps behind you, but when you stop, they disappear. Just have to listen, they disappear. Let's head back in here. Nope. Okay, we need to get these to the ruins, basically. Nope. Get over here. Get over here. Where was, uh, I think he was up. It's not this here. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, 
Alright, let's check the supplies again. Head over to the oh, here, Plastic Center, it's on there. No. Alright, there we are. I think this is it. Oh, yep, there they are. Your first is only coming to the cargo hold. Kipuna. Ah, no abs, no abs. Wait, what are you doing in here? Selima no abs? Me hood bad lies. Ounce. Calm down, little girl. I won't hurt you. Mucho shaka you, Yuba, you, Yuba may not abs? I don't understand. I still don't understand you. She frowns and looks at you helplessly. And we have the stowaway, Sasha. Strange stowaway. You've encountered a girl, young girl aboard the Eppin Hawk. Strangely, a stowaway. The strange that she speaks sound, will sound like Mandalorian, translated into pure gibberish. She may know the language, but she certainly doesn't know how to use it. And yet, it seems to be the only language she knows. It might be possible to try to talk to her. But dumping her on the planet is also possible. You don't do that one. Mucho shakapanga. You have me capaci? Where? Okay, can you tell me your name? You're looks you oddly puzzled. Point to yourself. My name is Evan Rath. You are? Mucha Shaka Baga. Wava Su Susa uh, Sasha. Sasha. Your name is Sasha, right? Mucha Shaka Baga. Wava Susa Shasha. How'd you end the shift, Sasha? The girl looks physically not understand. Does the name Lor Arka ring a bell? How about Rund Rundil Otsulem? Where are you from, Sasha? Terrace? Try to learn Sasha's strange language. Sasha na as one in Bristag? Bristag me leif leifsa. Many of the words are speaking are Mandalorian. Kipuna, bona na kichu. Mandalori, Mandalori na is nan go, uh, gondisen. Mandalori abs. Mandalori, that's your word for Mandalorian, so how do you know them? Selima wanga kuni. Mena S1 Menlori, Menlori Abs. I can't say Menlori, but your words are all mixed up. Her love obviously doesn't understand. S1, not S1? Me S1. 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 I see you. Or you see me? Me not S1. You don't see. No, that's not it. Is it? Sasha na S1 in Bristag. Bristag me leaf the face. You hear more. Me na S1. Okay. Bristag, what is that? Bristag. Bristag me leaf sa. It's a thing. Some pointing thing around here. It's a swishing style. Bristag. I understand what you're getting at. Leaf sa. Everything is safe. Is that it? Let's go to the Epsox here, fell. Me. That panel. You sleep there. Leif. Leif. Sa. Les. Leisfa. And you sleep. Kipuna. Bona na kichu. Bristag me lisa. The panel oldest. It's your home. Leifsa means home. Or Leif. Leisfa means home. Kipuna. Bona na Sasha na S1 in Bristag. Bristag me lifa. Les. Lesfa. S1. Na S1. Bristag. What is that? Tong abuk Bristag. Bristag me lisa. It's a thing. It's your home. Is that it? Bristag means starship, doesn't it? Bristag. Sasha no. Okay. S1, not S1. Me S1. I see you. Are you see me? You're hiding. Not S1. It's hide. You S1 new gis? I didn't get all that, but sure. Sasha no S1 Bristag. You're hiding in the starship. It's your home. I understand. You were gone disen. You said that before. What is gone disen? You were gone disen. Said something about me, yes, but what it? That's her chest. Gone disen me. It's something like, yes, gone disen means you like it. You were gone disen. You like me, I understand. You were not abs. Not an abs. You said that when I first found you. Abs, me abs. Abs mean hit, is that it? Abs. Is not gone disen. So abs is to hurt. Or abs. Not abs means not hurt. Is that it? You wanna not abs? I understand. No, I won't hurt you. Me aunt. Kesa, uh, kesa one yomnud good gis. 
Yumu. What kind of word is that? Because it's from elsewhere in the ship. Yum. Mi alts kesta won yum. It's part of the ship, our room. Jason acts looks like chewing something. Yum. Oh, yum means food, don't you? Yum is food. Salima wanga kumbikin. That's a. Na. Na gis. It's all one thing. Kipuna. Bona na kichu. Floor. Nung gis means the floor? Kipuna. Bona na kichu. Could I mean, I think I don't get it. Donkey ba non I'm just gonna stop for trying to pronounce it. It's, oh, it's all one phrase. Kipuna, bona na kichu. Talking down, I don't understand. Kipuna, bona na kichu. You're not speaking now. No gis means now. Na no gis means not now or before. Kipuna, bona na kichu. You want some food now? You're hungry. Donkey ba non tontek. Tabrio, what does you mean? Mucho shakapaka. You want me to tell you a story? About what? Tonki ba non tontek. So tab means tell me about, I get it. Tonki ba non tell me about tontek. you. Can you hear a Sasha in her language? Mucho shakapaka. There's someone here. Why are you hiding on the ship? Sasha and na S1 in Bristag. Selima wanga kun king. You came to the ship before, you were very scared. Kipuna. Why? Bona na kichu. You left the Mandalorians and hid here on the ship. Donki ba non tontek. You don't want to leave the Ebonhawk is your home. Tong abuk shami no nok. The Ebonhawk is not your home, Sasha. Not your first home, anyway. Tong abuk shami no nok. Talk about your home before. Donki ba non tontek. Me, is there someone who will take you home? There's so uh, Dentwe in it. Uh, there's someone in Dentwe who will take you home. Lur aka arka kesta wan yo lifa. Tong abuk shami no nok. Guess you can go home. So yes, the journal entry. So strange stowaway. We learned to speak with her. Mucho shak. Tong abuk shami. Guess you can go home. Alright. So now we can head back to Dantooine in order to get uh, Sasha back home. Now I could wait. Yeah, what are you? Uh, you know anything this world? Tatooine is one big desert with rocks sticking out. I heard that some of my people came here after the war, but I don't know what happened to them. Hmm. The world of my clan, Ordo, was much like this dust basins and rock crags. But my world at least has some green around the equator. This place is just sand all over. There are some vicious people on this world, but the desert is the real enemy. Trips out in the desert, especially the deep desert, should be taken very carefully. Do you have anything else you want to ask? Uh, nothing more for now. Alright, mission? Hey there. You know the planet we're on? I always heard Tatooine was nothing but a rock covered by a bunch of worthless sand. I can't even figure out why Zerka Corp set up their mining operations here. Sorry I can't be more help, you know. Is there anything else I can do for you? Go talk to your brother. All I know is I'd like to speak to Griff myself. If we have time, I'd like to go talk to the Zerka Corp rep on Tatooine oh God, and see what sunglasses. he has to say about where my brother is now. I just realized their glasses. Oh god, they look horrible. <laughs> Sorry, I, I really don't like the, uh, the the head pieces in this game. They're really not that good. It's the one part of the design of KOTOR that I really, really don't like. <laughs> Alright, so for party members, I'm going to bring Karth. Uh, no, not Karth. Mission. And we'll bring us... I'll, who's a character who, who's important? Uh, Basila, why not? Alright, yes. Welcome to Anchorhead, potential customer. Zerka Corporation stands ready to serve, after some formalities, of course. First, your ship is not on our list of planned arrivals for today. There is a docking fee of 100 If you force persuade, you can have you just tell them no. What if I say no? Zerka Corporation maintains this docking station at great expense. It is within our rights to refuse landing permission. And I warn you, we've had troublemakers before. The bay is lined with auto guns. Violence is not a survivable option. Is there any way I just want information. Uh, help, uh, 
What do I get for my 100 credits? The immediate benefit is access to these ferry docking facilities. This is the only port in Anchorhead. Once you've paid, we will offer trade services as well. We're not unreasonable, we just want to cover expenses. Is there anything to reconsider the fee? I assure you that the fee is non-negotiable. We have a very thin margin of profit on this world. The money I'll save, I'll spend in your stores. No, 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 I'm sorry, but we have to charge something. Maintenance is expensive out here. Fine, fine, I'll pay. I thought you would. Without these fees, Zerka Corporation would have closed this port years ago. This will cover any future landings as well. It's like a registration. So we can serve you better purchase. when you return. Now, as a customs officer, I can provide information on services. Is this visit business or pleasure? Uh, give me some background of Tatooine. There isn't much to tell. It's a very old planet, well past its prime. Also known for Zeta Corporation is the only company with any constantly. interest in it. It's not a very so pretty world, world. Academy. but there is opportunity here if you know where to look. I about Zerka Corporation's operations here? I can't really get into that. It hasn't been a very smooth operation. I shouldn't get into it. Now, come on, friend. Let me know the details. I'm sorry. Oh, yeah, it's persuasion. It's not nice. really a big secret, but my superiors don't like people talking about it. What about the history of the planet? Very little. There are hints that it might once have been a lush world, but I can't picture it as anything but a desert. Native desert. sentient species have yeah. no records going back that far. That was hundreds of years ago. Maybe thousands. Of course, the native species are not very willing to tell anyone anything. <laughs> Barely more than animals. What species do you mean? The sand people. They're vicious and attack outsiders on sight. More animal than anything, really. Maybe they know the history of Tatooine. Maybe they don't. Impossible to tell. They won't cooperate. Have you had trouble with the sand people? Not personally, but they've given Zerka Corporation a rough time. It's hard enough mining this rock without suffering random attacks. I think the company has even put a bounty on them, but I'm sure not going to try for it. Hmm. Any other sentient races? The Jawas are scavengers, and a bit primitive. Hard to understand. They have an affinity for droids. Some of our scientists believe that they may not be native to the planet. But how they got here, they may not even know. As I said, they're hard to understand. They usually end up slaves to the sand people. They are fighters. Good traders, though. Not but I Okay, for sure jobs like that. It depends on what level of risk you want to take. You could ask at the Zerka office if any bounties need collecting. That's in the central anchorhead. While you're at the office, ask for a hunting license so you can sell trophies to Faza in his lodge, just north of them. Hmm. I suppose you could also take up swoop racing. Talk to the hut at the registration office. Swoop right racing? Oh. That's in West Anchorhead. I can't say I know which of these jobs is the most dangerous. This <laughs> planet, I'm just going to say this, is a big money builder. This is where you're going to get most of your funds for late game. Very, look, I'm looking for very specific things. Who should I ask? That's not much information. Could you tell me more? I'm looking for older things. Antiques, artifacts. You a digger? I've heard of ruins being found now and then, but they've always been stripped by sand people soon after. You're not going to get anywhere with them. I guess you could ask around, but I I'll doubt you'll learn anything people, different. You could always ask a Jawa. It's hard to tell what they know. Mm. It depends works. on wh while oh. you're. I, I so, I actually need to get going. As you wish. If you need anything else, I'll be here. And we lost 100 credits, but hey, it's better than nothing. And we can lose the footlocker. <laughs> Also, Mission and Basil do a big dialogue in school. Uh, you have anything the place? Tatooine is a dry planet that has not been inhabited long and has little law. This town of Anchorhead may be its only settlement. Beyond that, there is little else I can tell you. Well, for now. Can I
There's the ion defense turret, by the way. Alright, the circuit, the customs officer. Ugh, customs. Choke up forced. Anyone forcing customs, I'm sorry. Are they talking there? Making a joke. Hey, never mind, I was wrong with them not being more of them. Never mind. Could you answer a long time, dear, but are you Basla? Hello, little girl? Yes, it's you! I can see in my eyes how- Oh my, how you've grown! Okay, apparently I got the best. Oh yes, I worked for your father on an expedition with years ago. Mother showed me hollows of you before, well, before you left. Such a pretty little girl you were. Is there something I can do for you, miss? As you can see, we're in quite a hurry. Don't- Basla, don't be rude, Basla. I didn't need to take the time. I just wanted to ask you if your mother's condition approved. And he says I lost saw her. My mother's condition. Oh, you, you don't know? Oh dear, I just thought. I assumed that she had found you. I shocked her life. She was desperate to find you. I've not seen my mother since I joined the order. Do you know what's happened? Did she? Did you say anything about my father? I'm sorry, dear, but your mother is very ill. So she told me. She didn't say anything about your father. However, I didn't see him. I see. Where did you meet her? Do you remember? She's she on Tatooine, you dear. The cantina. You should go see her concerning her condition. Concerning her condition. I guess we should go see her mother, Basil. Part of me would rather not see her at all. But if she is really sick, well, we shall see. That's one of the. That's actually a quest. That's one of the reasons I've been there, Basil, here, by the way. Is we have the quest for Basil. With uh, Basil's mother. Which is what we need to do in order to continue Basil's uh, dialogue tree. Who's that? Turn it, you gunga fa- Masa? Mosca? Fox was talking to us better. Hello, customer. Buy from Mick to- for Tunis Juice to save your credits. Don't be shy. Just ask what you want. We can't get a good look. We don't- we don't want to move the merchandise. I'll just say, of course. Alright. So we have some nice pork packs. These are the best healing items in the game. Being a- being an insane amount. Save up for them. And also we can buy infinite advanced health cats now. Yusani's brand is a weapon that I'll probably give to a certain character that we have in our party. Yusanis was a, was most famous a Chinese warrior fighting against oppression and villainy until countering Darth Revan. Countering that Revan had killed a Chinese senator, you you Yusanis attempted to tell the authorities, but fell to the powers of the Dark Sith Lord. Despite his own pre impressive abilities and the Kortosis weave inherent in Ulk and Chinese Viper blades, that's good for a certain character we have in our party because it's getting droids. Jamon's Hogra's carbine. Basically being a uh, another upgradable carbine, but has an attack modifier too, and pretty good damage. This is the weapon of mercenary Jamon Hagra. It was supposed to protect him against the many enemies he learned in his lifetime. He earned his lifetime, so Hagra's skill didn't match his potential, however. Mandalorian Heavy Repeater. This is a weapon for for someone if they well are good with heavy weapons, but heavy ones are kind of bad in this game. With this weapon, the Mandalorian again dem the Mandalorian again demonstrate a complete lack of subtlety. The only thing better than a big blaster apparently is one that shoots faster. There's an advanced oral amplifier. This fine balancing act is units to amplify the faint sounds of moving creatures while filtering out louder background noise that might otherwise deafen the user. The Verpine headband, which we have currently equipped, the Bothan sensory visor, so immediately to crits. Pretty good. And gives him some good skills. And it's not usable keys. I'll probably buy this, actually. Hmm. Bothans place great importance in the tools of the, inf of the inf uh, information trade. They would consider these items to be val to be val uh, to be of rather qual uh, average quality, though their standards are exceptionally high. Some breathe masks, which actually will be important for later in the game, because there is a section in this. No, that's Kotor 2. Alright. The Car the Karakan uh, gauntlets. Oh my god. These heavy gauntlets crafted by the isolationist Karakan are almost a complete medical computer in themselves. They constantly monitor and adjust the nervous impulses, blood pressure, and tension throughout the wearer's hands. The resulting increase in the stability and overall system in integrity have many benefits. And there's a thermal shield generator, which means oh, he honors aiming to fire. This <laughs> forms a magnetic shield around the wearer, which, while ineffective against most modern weaponry, does not allow for the, ap the appellation of extracted heat attacks, generally in the form of fire. Nerve element fire. This belt monitors the brain, emitting a, a energy uh, waves to, have, to have reinforce established patterns and block any outside influence. It's extremely effective if mildly uncomfortable. We already have you. Okay. No, wait, no, we don't. The verb for this is an upgraded one. This device regulates the body into stress, which is the emergency fortitude support the wearer. It functions so well that some wonder how many bodies of distress the verpine tested. Alright. Yeah, it's probably a bad... Uh, <laughs> yeah. That's, it is a good thing. But anyway, here's a really good implant. The community critical hits implant. This ocular implant greatly increases visual acuity, allowing the user to better track enemy movement in combat. General Harris. Improve as well. Nerve enhancement package. 
When you're mind affecting this implant, it regulates the nervous system for loss of consciousness due to sudden impact or sensory overload. And it generates adrenals. In a Geeks Up poison. Any Geeks that into one of these toxic pellets will die within a few seconds. It will also cause the creature to attack all the Geeks in the area and infect them as well. We're gonna buy this. And a Bantha fodder. This is, is a, or, a highly pungent mixture of local plants and fungus. Bantha are apparently found irresistible, though it's doubtful any intelligent species would literally call them this food. We still wanna buy that. The Geeks of Poison will, will find out when we go back on the ship. You'll find out why. And I'm gonna buy this up above off the sensory visor. Because it's better than what we have, and it made it critical. It's always good. But oh boy, this thing looks like butt. It looks like butt. It looks so bad. I hate it. I hate it. I hate the headgear in this game. They make my characters look so dumb. They make everyone look so dumb. All right, you. Cook this. It's the only one that even looks remotely good. I'm just gonna say that. So the most time we are wield this one in characters. Yes. All right, let's talk to him. Hello there, Captain. Let me see your yes. You are listening to the ship and the dodge. Your ship is requested. Uh, what ship are you talking about? Dark Star 332, isn't it? Yes, it is. That's what I heard. The dark ship one. Everything's being ordered. The gigs are your problem now. Excuse me. Did you say gigsa? A uh, gig? Gizka? I'm sorry, they're on the manifest to order greater Gizka. Remember to talk about 32, that's right there. Now I'll need you for a break on that way to say, what do you need if I go? Nothing is going on around here. Are you ready for the gigs are yours? The lock, one of the floaters just under the grate might spill open when I put it on your wall, so the critters might have gotten loose. That happens, I'm afraid. You're going to lie, Billy. Make sure you're going to take the cargo back. Enjoy! Yeah, you just put a thing of, of. Yeah, that was not enforced by them at all, but yeah, now we have a problem. A gigs a problem. Alright. A gigs. A gigs a. Uh. Gigs. Gigs a problem. This is another Evan Hawk quest. Fate seems to be conspiring against you. The disorganized port authorities in Tatooine appear to Tatooine appear to shift a delivery of gigs of Gizka to the to Evan Hawk's hold, and there doesn't appear to be any way to give them back. The dock worker mentions that some of the Gizka escaped, which certainly doesn't sound good. AKA they placed them in there on purpose. Talking to a mechanic. Some ships I fix, some I scrap. Depends if the owner disappears in the dunes. The dunes. Anyways, welcome back to the anchor. Welcome to Anchorhead Station. A, pr a, a pretty lively place, full of quests. Was a Duros Miner, a tradesman. With Terrace gone, I wonder who the, the Republic is too complacent. If they let Terrace fall, do you think they care what happens out here? Ronto. Hey. There is a hunting lodge in Sharina Fizark. Please, will you help me? I have nothing, nothing left. <laughs> what do you mean? I'm Ebert Graf. I'll help if I can. Oh, thank you. I don't have anywhere else to turn. If you're down and out on Tatooine, you're on your own. My husband was a hunter, killed out on the dunes. This raid plate is all I have left. Please, will you buy it? I don't need a handout. I just can't sell it to Faza without a license. Please, I'm worried about having it. They're so rare. I, what's a raid, uh, why do you need, uh, why do you need the money? I spent everything on my husband's hunting gear. We hoped that the sport would support us. We hoped. Whoever killed him took everything. All I have left is this desert raid plate. We thought we were so lucky when he brought it home. If I could sell it, the kids and I could get out of here. Maybe buy passage to Coruscant? Probably not Coruscant. I don't know. Go to Dantooine. Will you buy it? I can't sell it myself. They're worth more than 500 credits. Perhaps I'll buy it from here. You will? Oh, thank you so much. Please, I know it's worth at least 500 credits. I'll pay you what you want. I'll pay that in an extra 200. Here, good luck. 700 credits. Oh, thank you. It is more than generous of you. We're going to make that back very quickly. I just don't. Wow. Sometimes helping people feels pretty good, you know? Thank you for helping this woman. It may not seem like such a great thing to you, but you are making a difference. For whatever it means, may the Force be with you. You saved us. I tell people. Anyways. We got light side points, EXP, credits lost 700, and a journal entry added. We now have a raid plate in our... Well, yeah, we sold that class. But anyways, we now have a raid plate in our inventory. <clears throat> okay, let's go and look at it, because we bought it. 
Sharina's raid plate, the, the, this this incredibly dense skull plate of a of a, of a Tatooine Desert raid. All right, so now let's go into the hunting lodge. We actually do want to go in here because this is one of the side quest areas. So we'll get in here and talk to people. And get a license. There's a ton of people here, though, and most of them will die. Hello, human. Are you a hunter like the others? Not the light for me, but I admire you. What do you do? That fellow days of the game's Not that there's many people to play with, but a person keeps busy somehow. I play that fellow in Kitina, but I find him distasteful. He does not play for the same reason I do. Uh, what do you play? A sport of it. Even though I lose, it's reward in having played the best of my ability. I don't do all the credits given, take it or take it. In most people, the game is simply gambling, but I choose to get more out of it than that. Not many, not many people see it that way. Okay, have to go. Say so travels fair fair. I'll probably play a big game of Zoc, but I, but I'm mainly gonna play. The, but yeah, I want to talk to Faza first. Own uh, face, come to just go to this other side of Tatooine. Follow us along to the place of Ranger. No way to watch you, but it's over. The meanest better than the side of Galactic Rim, a hunter's paradise. I have something to sell you. Don't worry, I'm gonna have a cool year. I'm gonna do some nice things. So no one will see. Oh, there's a little there. Let's get some things while we shut down. <coughs> What are you doing here? Nothing wrong, but I'm still in the brain. It's only my job. That's the question of hunting. I don't know. How to get it? Pay to return for my studies or not? It's no license, no hunting. Is there any way to hunt? Is there any way to hunt? What is there to hunt in that way? That's why it's the weapons of the hunting brains. Large fussy beasts. As tall as a man, or a tall man. There's a reason I've always been playing the hands that I pay well for, but not being a real boy in the hunters. Probably remember the main prize, the Crate Dragon. The most fearsome predator in the system they are. You find one, I dare to kill. I'll buy the stone followers in there because they're the dragon pearls. Dragons are rare then. It may be easier to find some dragon to return. Comrade's father took one down, but that was years ago. So special about Comrade's father. Yeah, it's been over years. He's a strict person like that. Yeah, but it's just like him. Maybe I'll show you a thing or two about the ones. Where if I go? He's not standing right over there. You don't need to hear it. Why do I need a license? I'm not sure what you're doing. I guess I'll say that one. So we call these researchers the Great Truck people. I want to know what this one's about the Great. I want to know. I'm sure you said for this one. Oh, they're over. I suppose we're gonna get the tag. I have awful balls, I'll take them. Let's go with first questions. I want to ask what's happening. No, so he was barren place, can't spawn much, but I have learned that I've managed to get off the awful, well, get some awful old hunters to show up. I suppose, I suppose there's trouble here, like anywhere else, but you'll have to ask him. you have to ask someone about that. I keep to myself. Anything out of the ordinary happening? We are not in general. I heard about the destruction of terrorists, don't worry, they're expecting. I'm not surprised that some of that happened over execute war. I don't accept the jury for the last words. I don't want to decide to serve. Both of them are my guess words. I guess they are. Know anything more local? I was a good one. 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 That's the job was being used around the world. At least that's what I think they said. You have to tell sometimes. Maybe they're more accurate. If you know more, I can do myself. Alright, I have to go. Goodbye. <coughs> Sorry, I'm oh, crazy. I don't have water on me. Anyways, there's. What can I do for Bell. you? Did my wife send you? This ain't about credits, is it? I'm looking for experts. You seem knowledgeable. I have to mention the name for a time. Who put you up to this? My wife? I mean, what I said about having no credits. I want to talk to you about hunting. Hunting is a dirty and tough business. What can old Tannis tell you about this it? This Tannis. Where is the Venice hunting? There isn't any. Too many hunters, not enough prey. I can barely keep expenses covered. Maintenance on battle droids is expensive. Of course, it's better than going alone. What if I stumbled on a bunch of sand people? These solo hunters are crazy. You hunt with battle droids? Is that sporting? What do I care? I need to eat. I also need to pay for parts so the wife can keep the droids running. Maybe like it's all like about the grace. Some yeah. guys will talk yeah. about honor and stuff, but they still sell their plates to Faza. I guess honor needs creds too. Don't you need to keep, take more kills to keep your droids running? I suppose, but so what? When that resource goes belly up, I'll just move on. I'm just a wandering spirit, I guess. I'm not real popular with the others, but they just fool themselves. They're in it for the credits too. How long have you been out this? Too long. But it beats smuggling. You ever run into a Sith Dreadnought in the desert? No, you haven't. Yeah, true. You crossed his path with a Sith Dreadnought? Hell, I married her. <laughs> no, no, seriously now. 
I had this friend that crossed Sith space. He got stripped of everything. It's not like I have much now, I guess. But I still prefer sand people to getting ambushed on unproven trade routes. You want to be your wife a lot. What's the deal? Ah, she doesn't understand me. You know the drill. It's not my fault. She knew who I was when she married me. Uh, we can go with the hunters. Top tight and cold like my wife. They don't like me you really hate your life, don't you? I don't fit in, but I don't let it bug me. The Gamorians are different. Good rowdy drinking buddies. Girk and his boys, they understand that hunting is a business. Of course they hunt other things than raid, too. Just don't turn your back on them. Ever. What are you suggesting? Nothing. Nothing at all. Just keep your eyes on them, that's all. Yeah, they're hunting us. They're hunting they're hunting people! Alright, where are the hunters that give up the Gorak is reasonable. Gomad is a pain, but he keeps his distance. I can tell he doesn't like me much. Ask yeah, around the lodge if you want information sport. about the other guys. I don't really talk to him much. First questions. Hope there's something. Who knows the planet best? Who knows the planet? I don't know. I guess the sand people. I'm usually running when I see him, though. Have you seen the sand people with anything on? Uh, sure. My blood. They almost got me last year. Tore up two of my battle droids. Wife was mad about that. <laughs> Took her weeks to fix. Where they got weapons to cut battle armor, I don't know. They act like animals, but they can surprise you. Oh, what, where did this happen? I don't know. They could dune and walk. They'll get you soon enough. What about the Jawas? Smart traders. They've salvaged and sold me my own damaged droids once or twice. They don't see much I can understand. I think they're a little slow, but who am I to judge, huh? <laughs> Alright, I want I have to leave goodbye. Thank you, Tannis then. Hopefully you well, hopefully nothing bad happens to you. Hint hint. There's Girk, Ugzak, and Narco. Girk. That boy sucks. He talks to me when he watches me. Girk has no time for you. <laughs> you tell him, Girk. What if I wanted I just what if I wanted advice? Sure, you are very smart. Oh, what are you trying to secrets on that? Trying to find a good one? No, I'll tell you nothing. Yeah, you get nothing. So, what can I ask you? Well, I'm looking for something. Are you a good scout? I'll be most of my enemy. But for you, be honest, I'm more than anyway. Hey, go on. Don't you just me? You don't rush, don't hurt us, but I don't know. You're probably not. Bet you don't come back. Shut up, stupid. Why don't you let him speak? What, you deaf? Because he's stupid. He talks too much. You leave us alone now. I'm not stupid. You are stupid. Ah, oh, jeez. I hope this doesn't take too long. Gamorians like to throw insults around, but they just don't have the smarts for it. You're a stupid one, not me. You're too stupid, not even though you're stupid. No, you're a stupid one, stupid. You're so stupid, everyone will see you and say look at stupid. Shut up, stupid. I'm looking for something. Uh, fine, I'll just leave. Yeah, you leave, that's good. You can see on the dunes, and it's before you see us. Shut, shut up, stupid. There's Uggsack. I gotta say to you, make Dirk do this is business. Getting into the gym, Dirk's animal face, and then bother. There's Dorak. Get lost, Tenderfoot. I hunt Desert Raid. I don't babysit. Come now, okay. Come on, I just want to shit. Want the benefits of your current experience? Well, you sure know how to get on my good side. You're just trotting out bantha paths, but thanks all the same. Who are you? What is it you do? My name is Doric Quinn. I'm a hunter. I hunt. Is that enough, or should I start listing my family birthdays? Where's the best hunt? If I knew the best place, why would I tell anyone? It would be worth too much to me to let it get out. It doesn't matter anyway. This season has been dry for me. As it has for almost everyone. I killed Perhaps the someone else is holding out. But there are simply fewer raid out there. Why are there fewer raid? It used to be a one-on-one -on -one test, hunter against hunted. Now people just want the credits. I could stomach maybe a pair or a team of hunters, but some now use battle droids. Where's the sport in that? Who's battle droids? That's not for I me mean, to know, say. Yeah. I won't be a troublemaker in so small a community. You'll see. Hunt, and you will see. How long have you been at this? I've tracked wild beasts my whole life, but I've only been hunting here for five years. I have much to learn yet. 
Do you want to learn? There are hunters that go after the big kills, the crate dragons. I don't know how they do it. I never even see the thing. Comad is the one I respect, but I also trust that the only it's difference between moments. us is experience. I will learn. As we see in the Calo Nord, this is with this grenade in the stomach and us blowing them up. We can tell them they're hunters. I don't go telling stories about other people. You want to know what they think? You go talk to them. Uh, one word though. Watch yourself around the Gamorians. Girk and his buddies aren't to be trusted. Everyone else I respect because they have skill. Those guys, they go for easier prey. Why you say that? Just watch your back when you hunt. The dragons aren't the only dangers out there. Okay. Can I first questions? I'm looking for something. You know, who knows the planet best? You'll have to ask around. Comad Fortuna is a much more experienced oh, hunter than I am. It was a bit he hunts far from Anchorhead. The local Jawas are a good source of information. Even if it is also, hard to understand. Also, you always Fortuna on Paris. It may cost you, though. I believe. Good hunting. And then here is Comad Fortuna. Oh, yes, it's an English wish you would. Information. Would you talk about a worthy hunter? Such a worthy hunter for a moment? Much a shot. Maybe that's not a great Such talk is really sincere. Who are you? What do you do? Taco I'm Claude Fortuna. I'll have to remember the law. It's not my life for everyone, but I am good hunter. Where's the best hunter? That's when he's going to be the best hunter is. Did you write him to a human but one only one? Who's making you speak? Greater red flow than this world is a sport hunter. Dragons will be pure for the true hunter. Makes this key. Great hunters drop it. Dragon hunt alone. The phrase is whatever it's going to catch your attention. So dragons are rare. Are they dangerous? Both are rare and dangerous. And hard to hunt. Should I have a blessed and favored? Respect them. Some type of lesson learned by mass hunting with battle droids. Or the hunt solo. The universe is my own. Valdor, almost people while they live, it's a shame to admit that I know the effect it has. If they kill so many raids, they also kill the hunt. And that kills. No matter how the solo hunter will still prosper. When we're at this, I don't get your tune. I'm going to stay myself from time to time. There's day and there's night. I really don't know it, but you really don't know anymore. That's when you want to change my life time. Why bother trying to keep up with the rolling of the years? I told uh, other hunters, I don't know what to talk to you. Hopefully they tell you what they tell you. Also, I'm a bit more intelligent. 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 I'm a bit no one will answer the questions. Can you truly know the dooms who live there? Yes, sir. What do they know before the land? They should not have that debate. You see them at all. Is it the same people that they are? They don't share nothing. It's a bloodlust to them. It's not so as if they're in their hell. It's a twice-over. I've seen them merge old wounds. It sounds like a penis. They were dropped off and I tried to explain. He's on the side later. There is nothing left. What kind of runes were these? What were they? They were just perhaps a kind, but I couldn't find them now. The sand covers all of them. All of them were just a kind, but I couldn't find them now. The sand covers all of them. And they were able to take them by force. If you turn to your camp, it's easy enough. Walks up to your attack. Well, the Jawas. The Jawas are being a well, but they're more just in trade for the problem. The scavengers just gave the Jawas a kind of slavery. The language is difficult. If you can get a good idea of the price of a droid out of them, I'd be impressed. Good thing I know the language. Goodbye. Good hunting. Alright. We'll need to buy a license before we can actually start selling things, which I'm gonna buy anyway. Uh, because, well, why not? Anyways, now let's find more stuff. Uh, for when there's, ma there's mana. Dem knot. That's what I'm doing. I'm not sure if it's really good. She's playing just on the same network castles. Sorry, what are you talking about? She's always taking the talk of the fairy speeches like that. That can be true, I swear. Hell no. I'm sorry, what's up in my core? Oh, that Basla, isn't that your mother's name? Her mother was supposed to be here somewhere. Ask if they've seen her. Is he no human? You know, Mr. He tried. She's trying to get her with you in the place. She's still there? Probably. Don't make anyone pick up her attitude. So we're leaving. Now we're going back to see she's there, though. We should try to find her. I doubt she wants to be kept waiting. Go to look for her. If it's rule on your minds. Alright, that was interesting. Alright. Sandcrawler mechanic in the Zerka office. Something you want? I don't have a lot of time for talk, so please. What? Uh, 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 ask questions. Go, mm -hmm. Uh, what can you tell me the tattoo? Well, it's a hole in the galaxy, as far as I'm concerned. I doubt this outpost will last much longer. 
But that's happened before and will happen again. Anchorhead has been resettled a few times. Uh, it's our time. We're very well, failed. Tatooine fools people. It looks like it might have a good supply of resources, but it doesn't. Before a company learns this, they've already set up communities to support operations they now can't afford. The company pulls out, cities dry up, and after a few years, someone that doesn't know why it failed tries again. So our corporation isn't doing no one is. I guess it looked like a promising mining patch, but the metal, I tell you, it just isn't right. I've been a mechanic my whole life. I've never seen anything corrode as fast as Tatooine metal. It's why whoever was here before left. Why Zerka will leave, and why whoever comes next will leave. I repair the sand crawlers when they return from the mines. They get pretty banged up, even without the attacks. Like Alright, nothing. Goodbye. Alright then, back to work, I guess. Alright, let's head to the Zerka office. There's a lot we can do here. This place where we can buy a hunting license and also get the books to the quest. If you care about this, user are I'll just stop. You can just murder in the whole village. You don't tell me anything like the shards of Cormac Kiosk. I know, I'm not one of What's going on here? What are you? I'm not talking to this honest and I just didn't listen to me. I don't believe in the world's here. That's what they get for owning everything. No accountability. You don't bother trying to bring it up. Sorry. Sorry. Anyways, first up first. Let's go to the the, the greeting. So, to uh, greet a hold on. Yes, what is it? It's about the money the sand people go to Zerg office and demand the storehouse. We have available first. It's the most Xander Zerg provisions and supplies. Not to keep the locals happy. Have a look. To so buy more life support packs, advanced med packs, commander nurse kits, med packs, computer spikes, and if supply. Zabrak battle armor, which is new. In northern Iridonia, the Zabrak produced expensive armor that nonetheless has become quite popular on the Galactic markets due to its excellent low temperature for the properties. Chatty battle armor is armor for solid protection that has the flexibility to take some chatty products over your bullets and remove more combat. Zabrak com combat armor, the Zabrak improvement on the combat suit. This armor is good protection, while the speed and others' movement are more important than bulky plating. Powered light armor battle armor? It's new. Powered armor. There's an early attempt at power assisted armor, dampening fields block the noise of servo motors, unintentionally shielding. Against external extremities and sonic frequencies as well. And then the power battle armor. This micro hydraulics of this armor provides the operator with both protection and strength enhancement. It is rare outside of professionals, mercenaries, and soldiers. Fire sword, Mandalorian heavy pistol. Pretty good. You might want to give this to Karth. Mandalorians boast that a shot from one of these pistols could take a starship at a commission. It's obviously an exaggeration, but for safety's sake, most listeners just smile and nod. The hold up blaster. Basically useless, but it gives the blast pistol feet. Well, actually, no, it needs that. Okay, it's stunned. That's basically it. Something's called a sleeper. The hold up blaster is the preferred method of temporarily incapacitating an enemy. Thermal detonators, the upgrade to the to the therm, to the to the uh, the frag grenade. This probably device contains a beryllium compound and produces a small fusion energy explosion of great force. The brilliant protection of these such as items is outlawed almost everywhere. Plasma grenades and unlimited supply. Plasma grenades, yeah, 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 yeah. Breathe mass motion detection goggles. Uh, Built with a micro tracking processor, it means a, a, a user can bring these goggles and detect almost any movement. Sound dampening stealth unit. Okay, stealth unit improves upon the base of stealth mode field by dampening all sound that makes it, that the user might make. Awareness must be. Okay. Flash mines, mesh underlay. Bye. Alright, and let's sell some, uh. Hmm, security spikes. And the security spikes tunneler employs the anti encryption software from employee the really user's ability to bypass lock systems or in the containers. Are these the ones that that mission made? I never know how to use these, by the way. I never learned. Ah, uh, I could sell these, but anyways. Battlelight armor. Viper sword. The Arcanium pistol, no. Sell these frag grenades. Don't really need grenades. Right now. I know I probably just made a million people scream in agony. But I can get more grenades by, you know, making them. The response package, we don't need them. The response package, and yeah. Alright, then. Alright, let's see what we can buy. Nothing. Alright, close. I, I want to ask about bounties. How am I fair? You want to ask about corporation? You talk to protocol officer. Unless there's anything out of the ordinary happening? The coy way of preparing terror is going down. You don't want to my views on that. Hey, what are the local events? Don't care about them. I stand to compound. Be a pleasure, Will, for all I care or no. 
What about your opinions on t uh, what about your appearance terror? You know what? At least this is seem to make things happen. How old is this from like fifty thousand years? It's stagnant. Every year ships get a little faster, as always a little smarter, and people get a little fatter. That's better for progress. I spent those dudes as much broadly in front of them as I do now. At least shake things out. Oh what the frick? Oh. I pushed on the uh OBS. You know that means the deaths of innocence? Nobody's innocent once their mother has left the room. That's just my view. Okay. Okay, then Greta. Okay, let's talk to Protocol Officer. Can I help you? These are the offices of the Zerka Corporation. I trust you have business with the company. If this is about employment, I'm afraid all regular mining positions are full. And before you ask, we are also no longer selling hunting licenses. I'm looking for a miner named Griff. Griff? Oh. There's no Griff here. Never heard of him. No, I, I don't remember a single Griff on the Zerka Corporation payroll. Are you certain of that? I would leave sooner if I knew. Oh, you mean that Twi'lek. Must have slipped my mind for a second. Yes, of course I remember Griff. We hired that Twi'lek some time ago. Not a good worker, according to his crew chief. Always complaining and faking injuries to get out of work. He entered hmm. false timesheets and slept through his shifts. Hmm. We even suspected him of stealing Zerka Corporation supplies, although we could never prove it. Yeah, that sounds like him. We would have fired him, but we needed workers. It would have been better for him if he had been fired. Then the Sand People wouldn't have gotten him. Oh, the Sand People? He was lost in a Sand People raid we suffered not too long ago. There were prisoners taken, but our rescue parties never found anyone alive. In the end, it just wasn't cost-effective to keep searching. All miners sign a waiver absolving Zerka Corporation of liability in these circumstances. Yeah, yeah. So your workers are all expendable. Zerka Corporation cares deeply for all of its employees. That's why yeah, we started yeah. a bounty program to thin the Sand People numbers. We didn't find his body, so we have to assume he was taken prisoner. Whether he's still alive, I couldn't say. That's all I can tell you. I shouldn't even have said this much. This is all privileged corporate information. I could lose my job. Is there kind of reward for saving him? As I said, all employees have signed waivers absolving Zerka Corporation of any financial liability if this occurs. It is the industry standard. I suppose you could apply for a special dispensation from the Zerka Corporation representative kiosk on Coruscant. Yeah, I'm not doing that. Hours only, please. Never mind, I want to ask for something else. Very well. Though I do have work to get back to. I want to ask for hunting license. As I said, we are no longer selling them. There are too many people cavorting about outside the walls as it is. Why would I need a hut? What? Is there no way to get a license? Well, normally we charge 200 credits, but I could make an exception if you agreed to perform a task for us. It's similar to hunting. The sand people are becoming a problem. They destroy our sand crawlers and kill our miners. One particular tribe is the worst. It's as if their chieftain has decided to wage war against us. I would like their attacks terminated. Bring me their gaffy sticks as proof. If you agree to do this, I'll give you a hunting license now and pay a bounty for each stick later. I'll give a bonus for the chieftains. My favorite gaffy sticks, not their uh, No. I agree to do this. Excellent. Now, just so we understand each other, this is an enforceable contract. Zerka Corporation takes this very seriously. Here is your license and a few directions. This is the only Indeed, way to leave one the of city. Their enclaves is in the far south of the Though DC. we can try and you might trick try the following contract. one of our sand crawlers. They're regularly attacked. I wouldn't mind you escorting them. So back to my first questions. Very I don't know about Zerka Corporation. Of course. Zerka Corporation records are available at our representative kiosk on Corporation. Business hours, please. For your needs here, we maintain a fully stocked storehouse. Speak with Greta Holda about any purchases. May I ask you about your operation on the tactical unit? Certainly. Please pose your questions to the representative kiosk. Why the secrets the company stuck you down here? Tell me. I'm sorry, but I can't help you. So we have questions. Anything out of the ordinary? I assume that by out of the ordinary, you're referring to the destruction of Terrace? That is all anyone is talking about. I'm afraid Zerka Corporation is not offering any comment on those events. We wouldn't wish to anger the participants. Mainly the Sith. Yeah. Notice I have mistakenly associated with the losing side. Mm -hmm. Zerka Corporation policy is not subject to your approval. It is a sound business model. Save us your commentary. You know anything about more local? If you're looking for local events, I suggest you go to the Swoop Track. One of the few leisure industries on Tatooine. Hmm. hmm. There was also a Jawa here earlier, saying something about needing help. I think he's out by the city gates. Hmm. I can't be more specific about what he wanted. Two quests. Our droid translators had difficulty with the message. And also another, and a, and a Jawa that needs help. I'll have to go. Goodbye. Farewell. Oh yes, we received the hunting license. And we received a order to kill as many, uh... Sand people as possible in order to get them their uh, their gaffy sticks. 
This signifies that the bear may exit Anchorhead to hunt down the successors of Tatooine, having knowledge that Zerka Corporation bears no responsibility for any harm that may come to them. Trust me, harm will may come to us, because harm the, the sand people hurt. Blah, 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 the wars are worse than there's only a few sort of conflict, they're just lazy. Let's circle if you wanted the sand people chicken killed. They're gonna kill what they hire, they're just gonna walk in there without it. If they're less refugees, they're gonna they're intelligent. There's a way to be so stuff attacks. I know it. But we'll try, of course. They can't even leave the city without Zero's crew. And they will desert sand people dead. The Zerka said that the sand people attacked first. Yes, they did. They attacked Zerka, who employed numerous giant sand crawlers and started tearing the desert with iron shovels and whatnot. What would you have done? The sand people must have seemed like an invasion. There's no negotiation for territory or resources. I don't think the killing is justified. Or the conversation is open for someone to at least try to talk this out. What would you suggest then? Communication, if you can speak with them, then they don't understand. At least not a language that an average translator can understand. There was either a Jedi here a few years ago that didn't seem to get through that. I think that ended in blood too. I'm not saying that could be easy, but someone has to try. Maybe with a real translation joint, that resort to all scrappy just walking around. Do you have a capable droid? That could be rare. Even in the stock world, but I'm sure I heard something about an unusual droid in the shop here at Hatchley. Or like, well, that the Kukulay blog has said. It said it could speak Sandfield dialect, close. Though I see it's a Russian gold, like a sand. But for it, they can talk to them. I won't survive. Maybe, maybe with the different robes, the disguise won't get to the enclave. What? There's no secret in there. Taxi should work for ourselves with Lucy. Maybe you'll die on both sides. Where do you get the rose of mass theirs? Because you take off the warrior readers and don't see, there's no way to survive talk to anyone like that. Plus, you have to explain why you killed the warriors. You have to make peace. There's no way. They all look into it. So there's a corpse and say, they just say, shoot, uh, start shooting it. If anyone stops, they're all dead. But it's a circle that keeps the only one that's likely to do this. My thing is, I'm going, bah, what do I know? Why do I know? I don't know, blah, 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 blah. And he's speaking of uh, gibberish. Sorry about that. And we have another quest added to our thing, the main quest for the sand people, the sand people. We now have a way, a, uh, basically, which by the way is our main quest for the, the Tatooine. That's an Acelio. I see it's the biggest shit replay I've ever seen in a season. I thought that was a skilled hunter. I remember this little one. No quarter of the rest of the five million credits, I'm around. It's a little nicely. Not a wood. You'll see like the soul. In the sales and trade? I mean, something would be illogical to give the card stock. And we can buy more stuff. So, like, Jurgen Kalta's carabine! The Zabarak mercenary, Jurgen Kalta, commissioned this rifle. As a weapon, he liked to think of it as amusingly destructive. We do need to get a good blaster rifle, though. I am gonna say that. Soon. Mainly for the fact that we'll, see, we'll soon have a character who, well, uses blaster rifles. A lot. Though I might end up changing changing his weapon out for a for dual pistols. Because rifles suck in this game. Alright, and there's a chat over there. Remember you. Remember you're in the sand too. Okay, and up here is a swoop registration. I'll wait on that, but over here are. Our... Lord Malak was most displeased when he learned you had escaped Taris alive. He has promised a great reward to whoever destroys you. Oh crap, Dark Jedi. Alright, force speed and. Attack! And. Mission's been immediately killed. Oh, and I'm stunned. Okay, that could have better. Alright, that could have gone way better. If <laughs> it immediately charge a uh, mission, we thought it would have gone better. I always get a couple stuff, like a short energy sword, lightsaber, a uh, crystal, you have a crystal, it's a dark Jedi Knight Rose, and it's an assassin pistol, a giant dueling shield, a crystal diamond, and a data pad. Alright, so we have some new gear. Well, one, we have a new robe, which I'm gonna equip because it looks cooler. Okay, looks really cool. You know, big goggle, but the idiot. Alright, we get a short lightsaber too. 
which is basic, which is kind, of, which is actually balanced, which is one why we want to use one. Lasers can often come in shorter styles, often using the offhand during two up and fighting. As in large versions, different focusing crystals can produce additional effects. Let's see, is this actually better than my other lightsaber? It, it very much is, but actually no, it just puts on the other hand. Not that good at all. All right. Diamond is new. Found the treasure world of, Di of Diminia. Of Diminia. The crystal can be used in lightsaber construction to produce a clear defined beam of, of subtly wider width and length. I guess it's better hit. And this is the passive soul. Okay. These weapons are designed to incapacitate so death may be quickly or lingered upon as desired. Joys are simply dispatched. Its cruelty is best rationed among the living. Okay. So I want to head to the bar before we end up this episode, because, well, actually, no, I, I can... There's a race I want to do in, its, uh, in next episode, because it will be quicker. I don't know if this way is based, but Because then we can, uh, because that's a big quest. You know, not just, like, talking or activating quests. It's, like, a full quest I can do there. But we want to speak to Basila's mother. Helena. Hey. I'm sorry, do I know you? I'm here, Mother. But don't you recognize me? What do you expect when I haven't so much as had a picture of you since you left? Do you know how long I've been trying to find you? You knew, as well as I, communication would be impossible once I joined the Order. Now what I'm is this about? Answer. Where is Father? Then you haven't heard. I should have known. Has something happened to him? Are you going to tell me or not? Your father is dead, Pastor. Which is part of the reason why I was looking for you. Dead? What happened? What did you do to him? Isn't this a lovely reunion? Already she's flinging insults at me. Tell me, you're one of her friends. Do you treat your mother this way? My mother's long dead, if you must know. Is that so? Well, I'll be joining her soon enough, I suppose. I was told you were sick. Are you actually dying, or is this merely melodrama for my benefit? Such sweet things, you say. Well, perhaps I should tell you everything first before we start arguing again. You could start by telling me what you got father into that killed him. I hadn't realized Jedi was so spiteful. You want me to tell you I brought mm, your father good. here for an expedition, do you? You want to blame me for his death? You never accepted that your father loved going on his treasure hunts, leaving you alone with me. I was always to blame for everything. What else is new? So yes, fine. I brought your father here to look for great dragon girls. He took an expedition into the Tatooine Desert, and he died. How can you be sure of that? Father is an experienced... Do you think I would look for you if I wasn't sure? They were attacked by a crate dragon, and one of the guides fled the battle. He saw your father killed. I see. So what do you want from me? Credits? Oh, don't be insulting. I want you to use those senses of yours. I want you to find them. I want you to bring back his holocron. Oh, why is he a holocron? So you can sell it. Is it too much to ask that I have something to remember your father by? Of course it is, isn't it? You couldn't be bothered. We're very busy on a mission from the Jedi Council. I doubt I'll have the time. Ask my companions if you doubt me. Do you want to fire? Don't you want to find your father's remains, Basila? What remains would there be? Great dragons are huge predators, easily able to devour a human, and the desert is a harsh environment. Finding my father's remains would be an even more impossible task than finding his holocron. An ignoble end to a fine man. What about your mother's sickness? It doesn't seem to have anything to do with what she's asking. Are you actually sick, Mother? What difference does it make to you? None, I'm sure. Just find your father's holocron, and you won't have to worry about me again either way. That's the kind of response I would expect. Very well. We'll look for the holocron if we have time. I can't promise any more than that. I believe your father was headed north towards the Sand People Uncle. I would check along that route, dear. Do please hurry. Alright, and now we have that, that quest done. So, yeah, I for, also I forgot to talk to Mission too. But anyway, let's talk to him. Hey okay there, what can I do for you? I'll talk to your brother. Talk? What is there to talk about? Those sand people took my brother prisoner. Griff may be a slime, but we have to go rescue him. We can't just leave him with those, those, those monsters. Don't worry, Mission. Don't worry, Mission, we'll get him back. I knew I could count on you. There's definite fringe benefits to being friends with the Jedi. All right, and now talk to Basila. Okay, Basila, why are you doing it? Why are you doing that? Do you want to talk? About my mother. I'm unsure. I seem to find it difficult to remain objective when it comes to her. 
I find that disturbing. You don't think we should look for the Holocron? We have more important things to do. Still, my father is dead. Just because we find the Holocron doesn't mean I have to give it to her. You keep it for yourself? I don't know. Part of me would keep it just so she didn't get it. I don't like that part of me. I would have thought my Jedi training would have put me past this kind of pettiness. Maybe you should. I really don't want to think about this. Please, let's just keep going. All right. So that's it for this right now. That's the way to go. Next episode, we're gonna play some Bazak. We're gonna go. We're gonna do some soup racing. We're going to do some a bunch of things, including going outside, into outside of Anchor Anchorhead, eating to the Dune Sea, or maybe not. Who knows? Half as long the episode goes. Anyways, see you guys next time. Have a great day. Bye bye.